Colts, Carolina Cat Daddy. 38 degrees out here. You see I'm in a t-shirt. Ooh, this spot is hard to get to. This is a long walk to get to this spot. But, I fished here once before. Didn't have much luck. Caught one fish. But, uh, I looked at it on the map again, and I wanted to come here and fish the other night. It's been two days since my other trip. I still got the shad from that trip. It's still good, it's still bleeding. There's a big old otter out there acting a the fool. That tells me there's bait fish out there, so we'll see. Um, I went to Jamie K's and bought some more bait, but the bait I got here is still fresh, so I'm gonna use it first. Um, been on ice two days. As soon as you get it and put it on some ice, I always take the bag and kind of leave the end out of the cooler and shut the cooler. Don't don't let any water get in there with that with with the with the uh, bait and the bait will last you a good while. Um, I'm actually surprised it lasts this long, but it's still good. So we're gonna keep fishing with it. Um, we in South Carolina, 38 right now. It's gonna drop down to 30. I definitely got some warmer clothes to put back on. I walked out here with all my gear on. Felt great. Two, three trips later, woo, buddy. I was out here with no shirt on for about 15 minutes, just cooling off. That otter got real clear. He was up here about 10 yards from the bank. Watched him for a little while, but we got everything down here. About 10.30 at night. Plan on staying out here all night till daybreak. Um, got some wood, I'm gonna make a fire. Um, this is quite possibly my last bank fishing trip for a while. Hopefully tomorrow I get the call from my boat. It's either tomorrow or Wednesday. If it's after that, we're in trouble because uh, I got I got two days of job, two days of work of wiring it. So we can make water read this weekend. But uh, I'm gonna talk about fundamentals. I can't stress this enough. I talk about it a lot. I'm gonna keep talking about it because it's very important. My last trip, I was fishing structure. Y'all seen in the video? I was I was uh, you know, hanging up on stuff, getting fish out of brush. So all, I changed all these leaders. And I didn't just change the leaders. I went, took the leader off, and then started going back on my reel, on my, on my line, and pulled my line out and made sure there wasn't no, I took a good 30, 40 yards off each reel just to make sure there wasn't no nicks because uh, we fished for big fish. Ever since I was a kid, and I learned that there was such thing as a state record, I'll tell you what, I've been fishing for that state record ever since I was a kid, and that's how I fish. I, I, I go hard or go home. And sometimes I go hard, then go home. I mean, I always go hard, then go home, but you know what I'm saying. Like, it's, this is my life here. Um, I mean, since I was a kid, we had a pond in our neighborhood. I rode my bike every day to that pond that I could. And I'd sit there all day long, all day long, catch, you know, brim like this. And one day, my buddy Jack and my dad started teaching me how to catfish. And I learned that I could catch those big brim and take those and catch other fish. It was over with, y'all. I can't explain it, but. This is my life. This is my lifestyle. I love it. I love it so much I even quit hunting. I don't hunt no more. I might hunt. I didn't hunt none this season. I hunted some last season, but this right here is my thing. But uh, we set up. We got a good shot, I believe. We're going to try it. Y'all stay tuned. I had one run earlier. This ain't a horrible fish either. He's already breaking top of the water over there. Be a nice fire going on over there too. Right now, man. Got me some new fish grippers from Jamie K. All right, first fish, not bad. Probably 17, pushing 20 maybe.
Caught him real shallow. It was popping the water as soon as uh, as soon as he hit it. Uh, we've been here about an hour. We had a good run earlier. It didn't hook up. It was on this one. But uh, I pulled it out of its mouth. But uh, that's a brand new rod. First fish on the rod. Ain't bad. Uh, we're gonna keep on fishing, y'all. Our second fish, folks. It's starting to sprinkle. I didn't see anywhere in the weather where it's gonna rain. Whoa, Matthew. Whoa, man. Look at that mouth. Look at that mouth. Huh? Let me get it. Second fish. He don't care it's raining. He's already wet. Call him in the same spot. All right. I don't know about this rain, y'all. Dang. All right, y'all. It's, it's sprinkling. But, uh. Looks like it's only gonna last for an hour, and we got a pretty good fire going, so we're gonna tough it out. I really want to fish daybreak, so we're gonna tough it out. Sucker here's bullheaded, boy. I think we got us a 30. I'm talking about. Nice one right there. Woo! Uh. 
I'm gonna stick that tail out, boy. Uh, dang, sucker here. Wear me out. Wear me out. Uh, there we go. I don't know. Somewhere around 30, 35 pounds. Might be close to 40. I don't know. I'm not gonna weigh him. He ain't no PB. But, uh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what we came for. It's the nicest fish I've caught all year long. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Wintertime blues, baby. Woo! Yeah, he got me nice and dirty. I'm gonna have to finally caught a fish worth sliming this thing up for. All right, we're gonna keep fishing. All right, y'all, I was pretty excited about that. I was asleep and uh, he ran a long way. All three of the fish I've caught been on the same rod same same spot I can't really I can't really angle no more over there I got this one angled that same area but that's the spot tonight we're gonna keep fishing it's uh 646 so it's about to it's got to be about to the sun's about to break up so the sun's about to come up I uh, I can't explain to you how you y'all probably know, but I mean, I, I do a lot of fishing and sleeping. So when I wake up to a fish that's in a big one, which you know that ain't no monster. I mean, that's a good sized fish. Ain't no personal best, but I mean that's a nice fish. He fought hard, good fight. Usually in the winter time they kind of don't have no energy. He he had plenty of energy, so. Very happy with that. We're gonna keep fishing. A few more hours at least. Probably start about nine o'clock. All right, y'all, we're gonna call it. Had a great trip. Can't ask for a better trip. But uh, hopefully we get the boat back today. We'll see about that. Um, y'all ain't subscribed, hit that subscribe button for me, help me out there. Y'all stay tuned, there's gonna be plenty of more action, plenty more videos coming. I appreciate all y'all, I really do, I really do.